Most people over 40 start noticing something they never thought about in their 20s. You're training the same, eating the same, but somehow the progress just stops. The muscles don't feel as full, recovery takes longer, and that sharp edge of energy isn't there anymore. Then you hear everyone talking about creatine, like it's the magic fix. But at this age, things are different. Your body doesn't process nutrients quite the same way. So, what actually happens when you start taking creatine every day after 40? Does it really boost your strength and brain function? Or could it stress your kidneys, make you bloated, and mess with your system? Let's break down what the science and real experience says about it. Here's the truth. Creatine after 40 isn't just about building muscle. It's about reversing what age quietly steals from you. Muscle density, energy, focus, and recover. Studies show creatine doesn't only refill your muscle cells with energy, it also supports your brain, improves reaction time, and even helps reduce fatigue linked to aging. And no, it's not dangerous for your kidneys when taken the right way. That's one of the biggest myths. In fact, many doctors and exercise physiologists now call it one of the safest and most effective supplements for older adults. So, let's break down what actually happens inside your muscles, brain, and metabolism once you start taking creatine daily after 40, and how to do it the right way. When you start taking creatine daily after 40, the first thing that happens is inside your muscle cells. Think of creatine as a small energy battery. Every time you lift, walk upstairs, or even carry groceries, your body uses ATP, your main energy molecule, but ATP runs out fast. Creatine helps your body recharge that ATP, giving your muscles a second win. That's why you suddenly feel stronger during workouts or just less drained doing everyday stuff. Now here's where it gets interesting for people over 40. As we age, our muscles naturally lose creatine stores. Research shows people in their 40s and 50s often have 20 to 30% less stored creatine compared to younger adults. That's one reason why strength, balance, and energy decline, even if you stay active. Daily supplementation helps restore those stores, almost like recharging an old phone battery back to 100%. But it's not just your muscles that benefit. Your brain also uses creatine for energy. Studies show that older adults who take creatine perform better on memory and reaction tests, likely because their brain cells now have more fuel to work with. That's why some doctors even recommend it to help with mental clarity and fatigue. The other big change is recovery. Creatine draws water into your muscle cells not bloating, but hydration inside the muscle. That water helps reduce inflammation, supports protein synthesis, and makes your muscles look and feel fuller. So when you notice that slightly tighter look after a week or two, that's not just placebo. It's your body literally holding more energy and nutrients in your muscle tissue. After a few weeks of consistent use, most people over 40 start noticing real, tangible changes. The first thing, your workouts feel easier. Movements that used to drain you, push-ups, squats, even long walks, now feel smoother. You recover faster, soreness fades quicker, and that constant feeling of fatigue starts lifting. Over time, you may also see subtle body composition changes, slightly fuller muscles, less flat days, and better tone, even without increasing training volume. But what surprises most people isn't just the physical difference. It's the mental one. You wake up with more clarity, you feel sharper at work, and your motivation to stay active actually returns. That's because creatine improves how your brain handles stress and energy too. It's not a stimulant, it's your cells finally running at full charge again. And that, after 40, feels like regaining a piece of your old self back. Now, let's clear up a few things that stop most people from ever trying creatine. No, it doesn't damage your kidneys if you're healthy and use normal doses. That myth came from early studies on people with pre-existing kidney issues, not regular users. No, it doesn't make you bloated. The water it pulls in stays inside your muscles, not under your skin. And no, you don't need a loading phase or fancy blends. Just 3 to 5 grams of plain creatine monohydrate daily is all you need. Think of it as part of your morning routine, like brushing your teeth, but for your muscle and brain cells. So here's the bottom line. Creatine after 40 isn't about chasing a younger version of yourself. It's about supporting the version of you that still wants to move, think, and live at full capacity. The science is clear. It helps your muscles hold energy, keeps your brain sharp, and gives your recovery that extra edge. No miracle promises, just real biology working in your favor. If you're consistent, you'll feel it. 
that quiet confidence returning when your body starts cooperating again. You'll lift better, think clearer, and recover like someone 10 years younger. And that's a win worth showing up for every day. If you found this helpful, check out my next break. Eight most common creatine mistakes most people still make. It'll save you months of trial and error. And if you're serious about staying strong, focused, and active past 40, hit subscribe because this channel is all about science that actually works in real life.